The following are examples of explicit riba, usury and interest. Using deception through the use of rena, whereby one sells an item on credit for 100 and then repurchases it from the buyer in cash at a lesser price or vice versa. 2. Using deception by reversing debt. 3. Using deception to deal with interest through the use of loans such as giving a loan with a condition of benefiting from some of that money or getting something as a compensation for it. As such, every loan which brings about a stipulation precondition benefit is the riba. 4. Another form of deception is selling silver jewelry along with something else. For silver or selling a mud of dates along with dirham, for only dirham only. The Prophet ﷺ was asked about trading dried dates for ripe ones, upon which he asked, Does it decrease when it dries? They replied, Yes. So he prohibited, narrated by the five. This is because ripe dates are heavier than dry dates. However, Bay al Araya, along with its conditions, which were recently mentioned, is excluded from this. He also prohibited selling the heap of dried dates, whether measured is unknown for a fixed measure of dry dates narrated by Imam Muslim. As for trading something that one owes, one, if it is sold to the one on whom it is due, then it is permissible, with the condition of collecting its compensation before parting. This is because the Prophet ﷺ said in the meaning of which, there is no harm if you take it for its daily price, as long as you two do not depart while there is still something between you two. Narrated by the five. 2. If it is sold to other than the one on whom it is due, then it is not permissible because it would be a form of gharar.